What's up YouTube? This is LDS Reliance. Today I wanted to do a quick little um, product review, unboxing video, I guess, of a product I just got. Um, this is a Grape Solar 100 watt solar panel, as you can see. And the reason why I'm highlighting this is because this is kind of the first time that I've owned kind of a brand name solar panel. Um, I've spent some good money on charge controllers and, and batteries, but I, I have yet to purchase a brand name uh, solar panel. So this is kind of my first, and, and, and the reason why I took the plunge was first of all because um, I wanted to start doing some videos with a little bit of a bigger power source. And uh, second of all, because this is actually really close to a dollar per watt. This is a 100, pan 100 watt panel, and it was only 135 bucks on Amazon with free shipping, with prime shipping. So uh, this is kind of the first time that, uh, that I've seen a brand name, well, well reputed brand selling panels close to a dollar a watt uh, with shipping. So um, anyway, I'm excited to unbox this, so let's go ahead and crack it open and see what we've got. Okay, the first thing that I noticed when I opened this up is the the bracing on the corners. Um, I've ordered probably five or six different um, brand and models of solar panels in the past, and I have yet to see anyone brace the corners like that with uh, with cardboard. So that's that's kind of nice, um, and it comes with actually a manual. That may not be important for someone like me that's, that's kind of experienced with this and knows how to connect them and what to expect, but um, the cheaper ones that I've ordered um, from generic brands, typically they only come with a loose spec sheet, which is dubious at best anyway, and they don't give uh, someone who was just ordering this for the first time would have zero clue how to hook the thing up or what to do with it. So I kind of like that as well. Okay, now flipped over on the back side, you'll see um, this is pretty typical, but uh, I just want to point this out. This junction box or where the, the diodes are and, and the connections uh, for the wiring go is really good quality and has clips on the side where you can actually pop the top off. Um, that's pretty rare from what I've seen as well. They, I think the other ones that I've seen come apart, but they're not obvious how to get them apart. So that's nice. And then these ha already have MC4 connectors on them, which is, you know, not a huge deal. You can order those yourself, but the, it's just an extra expense you have to do when, when you're putting panels together, putting your system together. And literally every other panel that I've seen, except for my DM Solar, um, which is a pretty good company as well, but not really brand name, all of the cheap, like Chinese ones that I've ordered, they just come with, you know, a wire with two wires with uh, exposed wire out the end. They don't come with connectors on the end. So just a nice little touch there. Okay, not that um, open circuit uh, measurements are anything special or, or indicative of anything really, but I hooked up my multimeter to, to this and uh, just to show that it is working and uh, gives you the, the voltage that, that it says it's going to. Um, as for that paper that was trying to blow away, I just dug this out just to show you. This is an example of literally all that was in a, uh, a cheapo panel that I ordered. It's a graph that shows you the performance of the module and some specs. It comes literally with nothing else. Nothing on the back, just that was it. It was taped to the module and good luck. So anyway, I'm really happy with this thing. It's really good quality. The, the, the uh, it's got a serial number on the uh, for the uh, module there, um, so I'm sure if uh, you have any warranty issues, it's going to be easy to identify that. Um, so that concludes the review. Um, if you want to see what this thing can actually do, I'm going to start a series called Will It Solar? And uh, the reason I got that name, my son's really into Good Mythical Morning channel on YouTube, and so I just thought I'd kind of play off of that 
and uh, call this next little series Will It Solar. And I'm going to use this panel because this is this is an actual usable size panel where you can actually start powering meaningful devices with it. Uh, the 10 watt, 20 watt panels you're not going to be able to do a whole lot with. But this, uh, you can actually power something usable. And so I'm going to be using this panel and a cheap charge controller and, a, and an inverter to show um, what you can actually do with this particular panel, with this kind of a size of panel. Should be an interesting series, so stay tuned for that. Thanks for watching, guys.